Before we begin this, Berman, I should note that Mr. A.B. Carlos and uh, Mr. Ronald Atticus, representing the city administration, have been good enough to join us. And Judge Hawkins has also kindly agreed to attend. Uh, the rest of these gentlemen, I believe you already are familiar with. Thank you, Mr. Plunkett. I'd like to start if with... If you will allow me, Miss Berman, I will begin. <clears throat> I'm still in charge, aren't I? I... <sighs> Yes, Mr. Plunkett. I didn't mean to... I, I just... I would like you to answer a few background questions that will help us understand uh, your investigation into the case of Jack Boyd. Of course, I... Of course, but I just What's don't... What's so interesting about him? Sir, you ask me why I want to catch Jack Boyd? In my opinion, it's obvious that... No, Miss Berman, I did not ask you why you want to catch him. I asked why you're interested in him. Sir, I'm not sure I understand the question. Oh, well, in that case, allow me to phrase the question more precisely. <clears throat> you like Jack Boyd because with him, you don't feel lonely. As you said in a telephone conversation on September 19th of last year, or maybe because you consider him energetic and full of strength as you said on another call four weeks later the whole point is Mr. that Mr. Plunkett sir before you go on I think it must be said you that know Miss Berman I am a man of conservative upbringing I always imagine there are certain obligatory rituals and relationships between men and women going to the movies meeting at the cafe walking in the moonlight but I see that's just boilerplate romance compared with these touching transcripts. You've quite convinced me that even over the phone, you can uh, create a very close bond with someone. So close, in your case, that it creates an obvious conflict of interest. And although your connection with Mr. Boyd didn't end under the best of circumstances, I don't think I need to explain how grossly you violated professional ethics, and even perhaps the law. Sir, I'm not... Oh. How did you... Isn't this the work of the prosecutor, Miss Berman, to know a little more than the others know? Information is our weapon, haven't you heard? I'm sure everyone in this room will agree. Do you think I would have reached my post if I couldn't gather information and use it at the right time and place? Everyone here understands perfectly what I'm talking about, I assure you. And I have little doubt that you understand as well, Miss Barman. Now, going against a person with information is like going against yourself. A young lady with ambitions simply cannot help but learn these common truths. Mr. Plunkett, there's something... But even truisms are sometimes worth remembering, are they not? If you'll just let me explain... I believe we're finished here, Miss Berman. You are suspended from all current duties. Your future will be decided by the disciplinary committee at a special meeting on February 2nd. Meanwhile, you're free to go. We don't need to detain our guests any further. I think they've heard everything they need to hear.
526 in progress. Five twenty six complete. Five seventy three in progress. Five thirty in progress. Five seventeen in progress. Thirty complete.
517, complete. Five fifty seven in progress. Fifty seven complete. Five twenty six in progress. Five fifty four in progress. Five twenty six complete.
554 complete. Damn. Forgive me, Captain Carter, but this is important. Don't worry, honey, it's okay. I, I haven't had time to fall asleep yet. You came to wish me luck? I have leads on a number of major cases that I wanted that I've dreamed of doing. Someone selling old weapons that they're bringing in from Ripton. Someone else is trying to... Look, it doesn't matter. You can read it all right here. The point is that we've got a lot of evidence against some small-time criminals, relatively small-time, of course, but I wanted to use them to get to bigger fish. Lily, there's uh, only one day left. Uh, I, I don't have any time to get to the, the big fish. And you don't need to. Just arrest all of these people Arrest them and win. Uh, your your father would he would have laughed if he could hear this. But um, I well, I, I'm a gentleman, my dear. Just win the stupid competition, Captain Carter.